Hello, yeah. sir. How are you? Um, I'm all right. I'm okay. How are you, Pat? I'm doing good, Jeff. Hey, John. How you doing, sir? How's that ride going? I'm not riding right now. I haven't been. I haven't rode for about a week or couple, about a week or so. I got to take my bike into the bike shop here in Bellingham to uh, get the back derailleur fixed. Uh, Alaska Airlines and TSA broke it completely off the rear of the rail. Don't you love it? Holy shit. Yeah, when they were searching my bike, they just kind of threw everything back and broke that derailleur. Yeah, it's kind of uh, made me upset, but I borrowed my son's bike and it's all good now. Yeah. Yeah, when you get, I think when we get older, you realize. Whatever, whatever upsets you, you, you can't change it. I, I yeah, you know, I, I just have that attitude now. Like, hey, they go, aren't you worried? I go, mate, it was ten minutes ago. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Why worry about stuff you can't change? Yeah, you know, you know the result. You know, you're going to ring them up and abuse them, and they're going to say, "Oh, it's not our fault, sir," and rah rah rah. <laughs> or they give me, or they give me a what was it? They give me a fifty dollar voucher. Well, that's for not bad. <laughs> for a plane ticket. Yeah, and right. I just, yeah. I just told you know, that $50 voucher, you can stick it up your ass because it don't <laughs> need nothing for a plane ticket. Yeah. How are you I going, just, John? How's your house going? It's slow. Slow? You, you, are, they, are they broken ground yet, or what have they done? No. There's uh, bad weather and things. challenge with the... The township here, uh, they're, they're $3 million, some gone missing out of their budget. Right. And uh, nobody's trusting anybody. And they right. fired the uh, building inspector they had because they figured they were paying him too much. Yeah. So they brought in this young lady that is well, just has, learning. Hasn't got a clue and yet. Unfortunately. She doesn't know all of the rules and everything else. Yeah, so, so she won't. So she won't make a decision by the book. Yeah, yeah right. So, yeah. And the book was written that, fifty as years long ago. As, as long as there's something up here before the white shit comes down, we'll be in business. Yeah. How long? How long's that roughly? Uh we got till about three months. Yeah. Let's let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed for you. Okay, okay. Fingers, toes, hair, everything else. Yeah, it might just be me and me, you and Pat tonight. I think I think we'll get a few more, hopefully. Oh yeah, uh, it's Peter's birthday today. Oh, is that right? The old boy, the old boy, seventy nine. Seventy nine. Wow. I, I, wow. Yeah. What am I? I'm seventy six this year, so I'm not far behind him. Uh, we're Thank all getting there one day at a time. Yeah, but you know that's the other thing. I, I don't worry about anything. I just you know because you, you realize you're getting closer every day, and I, I, I often think one day I'm just going to wake up and be and be sick. You know, like I'm, at the moment I'm I'm quite okay, but you know you just don't know what's happening inside, do you? Nope. I look at no, it this nobody's... way. I look at it this way. If I don't wake up, it's not my problem no more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nope. Oh, look, I, I wish I wish we could be so lucky to die in our sleep. It'd be awesome. G'day, Brian. Hey, Brian. Good morning, Mr. Jeff Veal. How are you, sir? I'm going wonderfully well. All the better for seeing you. Good, good. I'm looking forward to your talk. Well, you won't, you won't learn much. You know most of it. <laughs> That's not true. That's no. not true. No, we can good always morning, Mr. learn. Patrick Kern? Yes. Hi, Brian. Good morning, fellas. You you working, John, or you mucking around just part time, or, or you going hard, or what are you doing these days? Some of each. What was that again? No, the, between fifty uh, fifty. Yeah, about fifty fifty. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry, I missed you last night. What happened? The, the problem is, John. Is, you know, I was a bit busy anyway, but there's so many different bloody platforms, and I wasn't. I wasn't on my email. I was on LinkedIn, then back over to Facebook, then back over to Instagram, then finally back to email. And I went, shit, John, John reached out to me an hour and a half ago or something, you know. Oh, so, so my apologies for that. As you know, I'm normally quite reliable. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It usually does.
Pat, I don't know if you realize it or not, but our, our star here, Brian, wrote a best-selling book there. So, Oh, why not? You know, he had it published last week. And, you know, it's got yeah, a bestseller you... already on Amazon and what have yeah, you. So well, good for Brian. What, what's the it name is. of it, Brian? Hold on, what's the name of it? Mastering Sales Language. Oh, not bad. I like it. I like it. Not bad. Eliminate these 21 harmful phrases and embrace words that sell. Yeah. There's a good book, Brian. You probably know it. There's a real good I don't practice it, but I should. And I, I made a lot of money when I did practice it years ago. The book, and it's on my website somewhere. Or I'm sorry, on my Facebook group. It's called um, Shut Up, Shut Up and Sell. Yeah. I'm familiar a, with the book. Yeah. It's an awesome um, book. Awesome book. Yeah. Yeah. And I learned from that one, uh, it, used to, it used to kill me, I learned, you ask the closing question mm -hmm. like, how would you like to pay for that, Brian? And then you shut up. What I used to do, I used to go, oh, oh come on, Brian, are you going to pay cash or a credit card or what's the, what's the delay here? You know, like, I, but now I, yeah. I learned from that that's, book, that's the you ask the question now. and you shut up, but oh, it's horrible because yeah. you look at him, he looks at you. And you both know, especially someone like you, you both know the first guy to talk loses. <laughs> well, reframe that. The first one who talks owns, and you already own it. So you don't right. want to buy it back. You yeah. know, the yeah. language that we use, I'm really, really into that, Jeff. That My book talks a lot about that. It's not yeah. the first person who talks loses, the first one who talks buys it. Right. So fair, you fair assume you already have it. Yeah. Okay, so you don't, want, right. you don't want to buy it again. Good night, Pat. Um, I saw Thank another you. one today. I came I came across um, an old one. It was an interview with um, the Wolf of Wall Street, uh, and uh -huh. it, it was a bit of a parody. It was about. It started off with um, the actor, uh, sh uh, "Sell me this pen." Yes, I love know. it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, I love that. I love that too. You know, me too. Cause, cause I would people, crush that. By the way, yeah, because most people go into the features. What do you got, Patrick? Yeah. You got a book. Oh, you got, oh, you got the book. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny I man. I need that. I need that picture with Pat Dreyer holding my books. Pat, yeah, that you're a funny a lot man, Pat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll get, I'll get you, Ben. I'll get you a picture of that. Absolutely. That was beautiful to see. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's pretty cool. That's it, isn't it cool? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm well, trying. It's, it's, UPS has yours. I sent it out. So, yeah, when, now it'll get to the border fast, and then they put it on a turtle. <laughs> oh and wow! The, and the turtle it's takes not. the turtle takes it a lot longer get, to get here. To book to Canada, though, you're right. It was different. Yeah, it's better than the rabbit. The rabbit, the, the turtle always wins. <laughs> yeah, but I um, just takes. I did put it in the UPS, and I have your autographed copy coming, John. I'm sure. Awesome. Appreciate it, sir. Yep, yep, yep. It was, um, it was, I mean, people in the UK have bought my book, but they bought it on their own and they got it relatively quickly. So, but you haven't gotten yours yet. We'll is give it, these guys it, just another minute or so, see yeah. who else turns up. And is it on Kindle? Else turns up or... Yeah, is it on Kindle and um, also, what's the other one? Kindle and um, Audible, um, Brian? It'll be on Kindle probably by the end of today or tomorrow and awesome. it'll be on audible next week but yeah. right now i've run a flash sale the flash sale ends today because i wanted to get the um uh bestseller status as fast as possible but the sale is three dollars and 99 cents uk i mean us let but me let, me, let me just let me just give you my card <laughs> yeah and there you go it was such a good sale i got two <laughs> yeah Buy one, one for one. me, and, what one for me, and one for my uh, son-in-law. So yeah, yeah, man, that's beautiful. Thank you, Pat. Oh my well, pleasure. Today I'm pushing it. It's been fun to promote. Actually, it's really been fun. Um, and the reviews I've got on Amazon have been amazing. So I'm really, really having fun with it. Yeah. How 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 many pages, Brian? It looks. Technically, the book is technically 47 pages. But However, real content. Real content is about thirty, right? What if you got a page there where they can make notes, that sort of thing, in the middle? Or what? Yes, it has it has about three or four of those, three or four. Yeah, I thought and so. And people have noticed that they liked the notes pages. I've even yeah. got a testimony about that. So, oh, awesome, awesome. But it they're real is, quick. 
Abs- there's there's absolutely and pardon my French. There's no bullshit in this thing. It's all content, man. It's all real content, and I just absolutely awesome. loved reading it. Yeah. Thank um, you, Pat. Um, what Brian, you say did you, matters to me, Pat, because I think you're brilliant. Did you did you write that yourself? <laughs> well, did you write it you. yourself, Brian? Or you had a ghostwriter? Had you do had you do it? Oh no no no! I wrote this myself. Just bit um, by bit. This was just my thoughts that I believe in. Yeah, that I believe enough. in that I because I talk to entrepreneurs every day. So yes. these are things I hear them say that make me cringe, and I wanted to <laughs> capture it. <laughs> so yeah. no, no, these are my thoughts. Mm-hmm. I sometimes think with books. This money, my personal view. I bought it. Oh, back in Australia, I left behind some two hundred thousand dollars worth of books. I was an avid book reader, right? And mm-hmm. now my eyes are deteriorating a bit. I hardly read at all, and I think to myself, at some stage, you've read enough books. It's time to take action. It's time to put put the books into practice. Well, the way I look at that is to keep feeding yourself. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, some if, some if, you need, if, you, if you need it, yeah. Some people need it yeah. to be inspired. I do. I keep yeah. studying because even if I don't get anything new, it still jogs a memory. Absolutely. Or, um, yep. I might pick up a nugget. And some of the books are not as good as others, but it doesn't matter to me. Some no. of the workshops are not as good as others, but it's okay. I yes. think every effort we put towards our development <clears throat> pays off. Yeah. I got a shock about um, uh, probably about a year ago now. I went to the local bookshop, and it's quite a good one. And there was about 10 books there in the bestsellers list. And five of them were um, F-U-C-K you know, something in the title. You know, and I thought uh-huh. to myself, what is this shit? What's the world come to, right? Right. Honest right. to God, there were five of them with that title. In some, yeah. you know, Unfuck thought, Yourself was a very yeah, popular yeah. book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. You know, I, I, I didn't mind who moved my cheese, but when you start going the other way, it's a bit, a bit exactly. Much. And I'm not, I'm not a prude. I just think it's bullshit, though, you know? But but that's a strategy too. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. It'll turn on, off yeah. some people. <laughs> but it'll yeah. turn on some others. Yeah, well, some people don't get one, so they probably need the book. <laughs> okay, guys, let's let's get this thing going here. It's okay. uh seven after. Mm-hmm. So welcome everyone to episode one sixty four. The retail rebel today, Mr. Jeff Veal will be our speaker. And he'll be going over a lot of great stuff. So what we'd like to do here before we get into that, for all of you that are watching this video, the watching replay, reach out to these people that are here. They're giving their time. They're not getting paid for anything. And what happens is this. You don't know who they know. So reach out. They could be the person that you need to talk to either for your business or be able to help refer somebody to you. So by all means, reach out to these people. And they got a ton of wealth of knowledge they want to share with everybody. Be sure to reach out. And then what we're going to do before we start today, we're going to go through and have these people quickly introduce themselves and, you know, tell a little bit about what they do and where they're from. And the other part is, it's Peter's birthday today. He's 79. And hopefully he'll be with us next week. He's still getting over the stroke, and it's giving him a bit of a grief here. So hopefully he'll be in good shape and ready to go. And without that, further ado, we'll start with Pat Kern. Good morning, good morning, one and all here. Good morning, everybody in social media land. What's up? My name is uh, Patrick Kern. I'm an adventurer. I like to journey around on a bicycle around the countryside and hopefully get around the world someday again. Uh, Right now, I'm in uh, Bellingham, Washington, just kind of hanging out, getting a bike work done and promoting this uh, great company that I'm affiliated with with is uh, Tranant. They got very great uh, supplements for, uh, for your health. So reach out and we'll get hooked up. See what we can do. Have a great day. Thanks, Pat. Mr. Veal, quick deal before you give us, you know, talk here today. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeff Veal. I'm known as a business guru, and I'm in downtown Manila. 
No, I'm not at the beach. That's just my background. I'm actually in my office. But um, guys, I left Australia some 13 years ago. I've got a digital marketing company here in the Philippines. And we basically help you with all your social media problems, the, the whole nine yards, guys. If you, if, you need, if you need clients, you need to talk to us. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. McNeil. Good morning to my Your Next Level family. And I really believe you guys are next level kind of people. You've helped me to level up. But my name is Brian K. McNeil. I'm the sales confidence coach. I'm the world's recognized authority on selling services. And I am now the international best-selling author of Mastering Sales Language. Um, this book is helping you to eliminate 21 harmful phrases that people say. Sometimes they say it flippantly, but I am of the belief that everything we say that let we let escape our lips, our spirits, and it swirl around our head and tries to prove us right. So when we say negative things like, I'm not a salesperson, or I don't know how to sell, or I can't sell, or I don't like selling, these things your subconscious receives and it conspires to make it impossible for you to do the activity that you say you want to do. So this book is um, a quick hitter. I'm super excited about what Mr. Pat Dreyer has already said about my book this morning, how that there's no bullshit in it. Very, very quick read. Amazon bestseller. The sale of the book, I had a, I ran a flash sale for $3.99. But that sale ends midnight today. Uh, so, But after that, it'll go up to a normal of $19.97 or $15.97, whatever we decide. But Brian K. McNeil, the sales confidence coach, I'm super excited to be here amongst amazing people. John was right when he was saying connect with the people in this circle because they can help you move forward. Thanks, Brian. Hmm? Mr. Dreyer. Yes, sir. And thank you. And uh, now that Glenda's here, I probably never would have used that word, but uh, we got it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Pat Dreyer, and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, in the U.S. And it is like, like Mr. Uh, Mr. Kern. It's 5 a.m. out here, but uh, I show people how to make money, and I use the leverage of network marketing and a company called My Daily Choice as the vehicle to build my house or my my house, my home business. And there's one thing that I know for certain, and that is, regardless of how much money you're earning. There's one thing that everybody wants, and that's more, right? Mm -hmm. And so imagine your life better than it is now just by taking three simple steps. You can work from home, building your business, and you can have the freedom to create a life that you love. That's it. And now once you learn these skills, you'll never have to go to work for someone else ever again. And that's why so many of us got into network marketing. So I'm looking for a partner. And if that's you, I'll show you how to get started for free and help you get some fast results. So I invite you to join us today. You have nothing to lose and so much to gain. Thank you, Peter. I'm <laughs> John. Thanks, Pat. So used to Peter. Now, yeah. now the rose amongst us thorns is Glenn the Crawl. Somehow I think I missed something when I came in just a little bit late, but... <clears throat> Say, <laughs> Hello. It, it was it was boy talk. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm still part of the guys, so I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, it's been a couple of weeks, and I'm sorry for my uh, for my absence. But you know, sometimes life does get in the way. Good morning, everybody. My name is Glenda Kroll, and I am coming to you from a very rainy day in Toronto, Canada. Um. Uh, too many times women sit get to a point in life in the second stages and they don't get to be where they feel that they should have been. Something happens, you know, life falls apart, something you, you get knocked down and they get to this part and they know that there's something more that they should have done. So through my coaching, I help you gain your confidence, bounce back and even help you to start investing in yourself by learning how to invest in real estate. Through my three-step method, I will teach you to first of all, gain the confidence and the self-esteem in yourself 
And then we will help you to teach you how to invest in your first property. So if you just want to, if you're interested in any of the above, reach out. My link will be in the back. Let's have a coffee together and see if you're a fit for me. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. I'm John Allen, John D. Allen, Allen Small Business Coaching in Northern Ontario, Canada. Basically, what I do is I mentor coaches on how to solve their three biggest problems. First one is how to get to the true problem that your prospect has, because we're all aware that if you don't hit the true problem, their true problem, and they want to solve it, you make a sale. The second one is how to end the chasing game once and for all. Again, we've all given what we thought was the greatest, grandest, most wonderful presentation, only to hear, I'll think about it. I'll call you in a couple of weeks. I'll do whatever. I got to talk to my, my mom, my dad, my cat, my dead dog, my uncle, whatever, right? You'll get a gazillion excuses. How to end that chasing game once and for all. And the third part is how they can add an additional 48 to 75K to their bottom line. Revenue is for vanity and your ego. Your profit is for lifestyle. So put it on your bottom line for your profit. And without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to get started on today's topic. Just before we do, we have some apologies from people that are normally here, but unfortunately can't make it. Carol Davy Hospital, so good reason why she can't be here. Anthony and Janet Purcelli, Anthony's mother just passed away, so they're dealing with the funeral and all of that good stuff, so... That's unfortunate for them, and we pass on our condolences. Joy Healy, I believe she's off to the dentist. So with that, you know, these people are all really good people. And what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it over to the retail rebel, Mr. Veal, and the screen is yours to share, sir, if okay. you need it. And we'll I, hear what I, Jeff has I, to say to you. I will. Thanks, John. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll share my screen and then we'll, we'll go from there. Bear with me. Um, I need yep. you to let. I need you to let me in in the moment. When yeah, you're ready. you should be able to share. Okay, let's have a look. Now I've got host disabled participant screen sharing at the moment. Share the screen. There yeah. we go. There we go. There we go. Now I'm, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. That's very good. Okay, let me go over and get, pick up something just to, so we don't have this on the screen. What can I do? Trouble, trouble. I need a VA, but my team don't work this time of night, so bear with me, guys, and I'll, I'll bring something up. Uh, here we go. I know, what I, I know what I can bring up. I'll just bring up something over here. We'll go over here. We'll go over here. And we'll go to here. Oh, my God, that's your desktop? It is, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> some of it, some of it. Hey, uh, uh, and then we'll come into here and we'll, we'll bring up, while I'm having a little chat, we'll bring up something like this. Right. How's that? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I've got a bad cold as well. Um, but I'm here. Um, guys, tonight I'm going to talk about um, my favorite subject, marketing. I've been doing, I'm known as the marketing godfather. I've been doing marketing for a mere 50 years. And I don't know it all, but I know a hell of a lot. Um, I got most of my knowledge, guys, from either from books or from people I met along the way or from actually doing it. I've had five uh, multi-million dollar businesses. They've all been terribly successful. Uh, the last one was going very, very well. But then COVID came along and I lost everything. Uh, as many of many other people did as well. But as you know, they can't take your brain or your ability. So we're, we're on our way back. And what I'd like to do, guys, um, I'm going to take you through a little bit of a marketing presentation because I want to see where you guys are at in your personal journey. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to say, bear with me, here we go. I'm going better than what I thought I would. Fantastic. We're going to come over to here, guys. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to do this uh, rather quickly, guys, because it normally takes about about 12 minutes, but we'll do it in half that time. So this is a typical presentation that I'll give to a, a potential client who's interested in learning about what we do. So we start off, 
Uh, let's have a look if this is going to work. Yes, it is. As it says, let the fun begin. So what we'd, what we'd normally tell the you don't need to worry, guys. What we'd normally tell the we're going to get you involved shortly, though. What we'd normally tell the client, please draw this box on a clean piece of paper. And the whole idea of this, guys, is, and it's, it's a very good presentation because it gets the client involved and it gets to use all the senses, right, which is which I love, right? So we go to here and you tell them to draw this box. Five, five lines down and five lines across, they end up with 25 squares, all right? And then we go to the next part. This is how your box should look. And then finally, we go to here and we move this out of the way. And we get them to put these letters at the top, A-N-C-O-C-F, some numbers down the side, as you can see, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then what do they all stand for? Let's have a look. A is for attract. N is for nurture. C, convert. O, the offer. Anyone want to have a guess what CF is? No guesses? Cash flow. Close. Close. Very oh. good. Very oh. good. Very good, Glenda. Glenda gets a prize. You get a free copy of Brian's book. It'll be signed and it'll be delivered to you in the next seven days. All right. <laughs> now, Perfect. I was going to go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> moving, moving right along, guys. It's my wicked sense of humor. Now, what I want you to do, guys, uh, if you're in America or Canada, I'm sure you've got a small coin uh, in size. Back in the, I think in America, they call it a dime. In Australia, we call it five cents. What I want you to do, I want you to be totally honest to yourself. And I want, to, I want you to, I do want you now to grab a pen and paper, if you have one handy, or, or if, you, if you haven't, just memorize it. I want you to tell me your ability to attract your ideal client. Are you the best in Canada or the best in the world? Are you the worst? And don't tell me the number. Just keep that, keep that number written down. We're, we're, we're going to add them up in the end. And let me know where you're at. You're either the best in the world, the worst in the world, or somewhere in between. And and be tough on yourself, and, but be honest. You know, if you're a four, congratulations. If you're a one, well, you can improve. Now, moving on to the next one, nurture. Your ability to nurture these people, once you get them on the phone or you're talking to them in person, whatever, your ability to nurture them. Do you think you're... You're the best in the world at nurturing. Are you the worst or you're somewhere in between? Okay, your ability to convert these people into a sale. Do you get 10 out of 10? Good luck. Um, are, you, sorry, are you a four? I've got an itchy eye, guys. Or are you, are, you, are you a one, right? Or are you somewhere in between? Now, have a look at your offer. Have a good good study of your offer. Is, yours, is, is it a must-have offer, like something you'd see on TV? Is it a must-have offer or... Is it a bit ordinary, could improve, or somewhere in between? That's another number. So we all, you're all following the bouncing ball so far, guys. We come along to cash flow. Are you filthy rich and you wonder even why you're here? <laughs> things, things could be a lot better or somewhere in between. All right. So we're all up to date with that, I hope. So we had the attract, nurture, convert, offer, and cash flow. All right. And then... If we were doing the grid, it would look a lot like this, guys. This is a typical person, all right? It look a lot like this. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to ask you the question. And guys, you can uh, you can either probably drop it in the chat, or or you can we can talk about it, whatever you prefer. Um, and here's the numbers, right? So if you know your numbers, less than ten, as you're in trouble. Less than twelve, well, room for big improvement. Uh, less than 15, well, let's get together. More than 15, you're a star. 20, you don't need me or Brian. You, you could, you could make, a, make a living writing books. Um, so basically, guys, I'm going to stop share, sharing for a moment. I'm going to come back to you. And we're going to go around the room. Mr. John Allen, how many did you get, buddy? I'm about a 10. About a 10. Well, you do need some help. And, and we've got, we got the solution today for that. And Patrick, yourself? I actually got 15 out of it. Not bad. You're doing well, Patrick. You don't need me. I'm, I'm going to come to you next week. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you, Brian. You're, you're a 20. Don't ask me. I'm, <laughs> I'm an 11. Kidding. I scored myself 11. Yeah, I scored myself one. tough because I want to leave room for improvement. That's okay. the one. But Brian's, I'm an 11. That's why Brian's brutally honest, guys. That's what you've got to be. You've got to be brutally honest. Pat, yourself, Pat. Pat Dwyer. Now, Pat Kern. Pat, Pat. 
No, Pat, we've done Pat Kern. We're doing Pat Dwyer now. Oh, we did Pat Dreyer. Uh, yep. And I, I was, I was the one that came up with fifteen. Fifteen. Pat oh, Kern. is that right? Yeah, Pat. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my apologies. Pat Kern. Pat Kern, you got no, you got no microphone. That's why I couldn't hear you, Pat. Patrick Kern, you got no microphone. Put your fingers up. <laughs> don't, don't, don't put your fingers up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. About, Where were you, about Patrick? Time, uh, pretty, pretty low on the totem pole. No trouble. We can help improve. And last but not least, the the, the rose amongst the thorns, Glenda. I'm a thirteen. A thirteen. Very good, Glenda. I, I expect I expect pretty good numbers from you. You do well. So there there it is, guys. Um, so that's basically a presentation to show your potential client. And you can and you can play around with that. Um, and we can make one for you if you want. It's basically just a, a simple PowerPoint presentation, but it works very well for us because it gets the client involved and, and it gets them to, it shows them where they're at. And then you get then you get to go on and tell them, you know, and, and show them, which I'm about to do with you guys, you show them how you can improve them and you give them some social proof. So let's let's go let's go back and do some social proof. Okay. Um, before I do that, guys, I want to talk to you about channels. And and think of a radio station, guys. Some of you like hip hop. Let's just say if you like hip hop, some of you like jazz, some of you like rock and roll, heaven forbid, some of you like church music. Okay. Now if you, if you like hip hop, you, you got twenty one percent of the audience. If you like jazz, you got nineteen percent of the audience. Like if you like rock and roll, you're okay. You've got 40% of the audience. However, guys, the whole idea, what I'm trying to allude to here, you've got to be across all the channels. I speak to people all the time. It drives me crazy. Oh, I'm on Facebook. I don't like LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn. I don't like Facebook. And I try to tell these people, and they don't listen in the main, you're leaving 50% on the table, right? Because they're different beasts. LinkedIn is, is a slow burn. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta be in the club. You gotta be you gotta be in the click. You gotta be there a while, and you gotta be constant. And you gotta be present. Facebook, anybody can come in. It's for, it's for the for the rat bags. Anybody can come into Facebook. Um, however, there's a secret sauce with Facebook. It's Facebook groups. And I'm about to show you some of that secret sauce in a minute, guys. And I'm um, at a show of hands. Um, we're going around the room. Are you are you on both platforms, John? John Allen? Uh, yes and no. Right. And okay. by that, I mean I'm on Facebook very little, but using okay. LinkedIn a lot. Fair enough. Patrick Kern? Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Yeah, good. That's where uh, you should be. Instagram. Yeah, good. But you got to be consistent, guys. There's a key to... Um, yes. Brian, you Brian yourself? Facebook and LinkedIn primarily. Yeah, good. That's, that's what you need. They're, they're the main two channels. Guys, there's 32 channels. I don't care yeah. who you are. Look, why I'm on this call, guys, I, I'll guarantee you I've got 10, 10 LinkedIn messages, 20, e I'll show you in a minute, 20 emails, 15 reach out from Facebook, and I've got my phone switched off. <laughs> so, you know, you can't be everywhere to everybody, guys. So I suggest you get on a couple of main channels that, you, that you're confident and good at and focus on them, right? Uh, Patrick Dwyer, uh, yourself, buddy. What do you what do you what do you want to do? Well, I just got a, a notice from LinkedIn says Happy nineteenth anniversary. I joined it when it was brand spanking new, but awesome. I haven't I haven't used it in five years probably. Wow. Uh, and, so and, face, and, and, Facebook is the is the one I usually use, and I typically okay. use it more for communication than I do anything else. Fair enough. Well, then you, you got you got to improve your game a little bit. And Glenn, well, you me. know, it's funny, yeah, Jeff, when you uh, asked me my score and I said 15 and said, you said you're a star, it's like, well, you should have seen my score on a track. I go out and get my business. It was, it was a two. <laughs> Glenda. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm on LinkedIn, but um, I don't really use it enough. I'm actually st have been starting Particularly to with real estate, Glenda, you need a smack because that's where, I mean, real estate's big money and where the big money people are, they're on LinkedIn. And I think it's, I, I forget the figure, guys. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I, I thought I saw something the other day, something like, because the world's a big place. I think it was something like 700 million people on LinkedIn, some ridiculous ridiculous amount, right? Um, you can look all that up, ladies. Look up the social metrics and how many people are on these platforms, right? 
We're going to go to the next stage, guys. I'm going to show you the value. I'm going to start off with Facebook. And don't forget those channels, guys. Get on several channels. If you're on one channel and you're making $1,000 a week, good on you. Get on another channel and you might make $1,500 to $2,000 a week. And don't try and be on three and four channels. Be happy. Be content. Um, I read a book once. Brian's a big book man. I read a book once that said this. And I, it took me a long while. My ego got in the way for a long time. What I used to try and do, guys, I had some big winners. And what I used to do, being an entrepreneur, I used to focus and pour money and gasoline on my losers and try and make them into winners. But the book told me one day, listen, Jeff, wake up, pour more gasoline on your winners and don't worry about your losers. So when you see something losing, let it go and focus on your winners and go hard. All right. Okay. We're going back to share the screen, guys. I'm going to show you, hopefully, <laughs> I'm laughing, without my VAs here, anything could happen. Just one sec, guys. I'm just looking. My camera's in the way, so I'm just trying to see where I am. I've got to go to share first. That's a good idea. Uh, then I've got to get out of here. Okie dokie. Anything could happen here. Like I said, anything could happen. Okie doke. I think we're on the right track. And now um, my camera's right in the way, unfortunately. Come on, Jeff. Uh, guys, can you see my screen at the moment? Yes. You can? Yeah, you're just showing your less than 10, 12. Yeah, it's the scores. Right. Okie doke. Um, let's have a look here. We've got chat happening. Where I'm quite frankly, guys, right at the moment, I am lost. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and exit the screen for a minute. And I'm gonna come into here. This will help me a lot. I'm gonna come into here. Now we're on back I'm back on track, guys. Here we go. I'm back on track. Now hopefully, guys, um my lack of experience, you'll probably be seeing my screen shortly, you'll be seeing my Facebook group. And here we are. Do we see a Facebook group? Yep. We do indeed. As I said yep. to you guys, there's, I don't know, I, th I thought it was a seven. My eyes are bad. It was only a two. So I've only missed three people so far, but it will it will, it will, will improve. We reach out today. This is a Facebook group, guys. I've got some 5,300 members. If you're not in the group, get yourself in the group and post away. Because I've got 5,000. This group's all about you. Not about me. It's all about you guys. And what it is, it's, it's a group where we want you to promote yourself every week. We want you to network and grow with other entrepreneurs. All right. Now, before I forget, I'll, I'll come back to, I'll show you a secret that most people don't know in a minute about real estate. All right. I'll, I'll show you how to double your Facebook inquiries with a bit of real estate that most people don't know about. All right. But I'll come, I'll cover that in a moment. Bear with me. I'm going down here, guys. Here's our member. Here's our request today. Just, let's have a look at how we went today. What we get using at 30 or 40. What we got? As we, we toned it down a bit. Let's have a look. It's a bad storm at the moment, guys. So my internet's lagging plus Zoom doesn't help either. But here we go. Come on. Up you come. What number we got? 28. Okay. So we go down to here. And you'll see pending approvals. That's where that's potential spam, that one. There's another one there. Uh, this is where we let people come in and make their own posts. And we look at the posts. If you're an Indian in India selling curry, we'll probably ban you, right? Because <laughs> you're not you're not what our target audience wants, right? But if, if, it's, if it's a good business post of how to make money or how to, how to grow or how to help people, then we'll certainly welcome you. Okay, we get into here, guys. We're going to look at the growth of the group. Here we go. Now, if you have a Facebook group, and you should have, right, you go here, guys, and I'm going to go, I don't like 28 days. I always like a couple of months, guys. You can see it's on a growth tra trajectory, but I'll go over the last 60 days so you know it's not a fluke, and here we are. Okay, so these are the requests we've had, guys. Six and a half thousand requests. We're up 40, let's call it 50% to round it off. We're up 50%. Now, what happens here? These peaks and troughs, we get 209 inquiries. We cannot handle 290 inquiries. So we take 24 hours or two days to get back to them all. So we turn it off for a while, then we turn it back on. You get the idea, guys? On and off, on and off, on and off. And like a day ago, we had 251. It's just, it's on fire, right? Now, you want to know why it's on fire? I'm going to show you. Bear with me. We go up to here. Come on, Jeff. Where we go? You go into guides. A lot of market, marketers hate me around the world because I'm giving away twenty-five dollars to $30,000 worth of free, hear that word, guys? Free resources, 
right? Of how to grow your business. All here for you guys. Now I'm hoping my, it looks like it's, it's don't, 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 I don't have to, that's, oh, I was worried. I thought it was going to be blocked up. Okay. How to, there's tw there's um, 27 customer feedback tools that you need. Um, go into here. How, how to rock your business with a small PC that's pay per click budget. Uh, 48, there you are, guys. 48 tools you probably go and pay for normally. 48 tools mainly for free. And, and they're to help you. And we keep on going, guys. I'll get in here a bit further. How to, how, to grow, how to grow your podcast audience. Nine easy, if you don't know, nine steps, right? Uh, guaranteed ways to get more leads on social media. And I, I could go on and on, guys. I mean, I'm not going to go on because there's over 350 guides here, guys. So grab a cup of coffee on the weekend and pick out the ones that, re look, 14 ways to attract people. Um, pick out the ones that resonate with you. And Oh, is there more? Yes, of course there's more, right? So you go over here to files, guys. These are programs. Many of them have cost me over $500, and I've put them up here with some free ones and some paid ones. I'll put them up here for you to help you, right? How to stream like a pro. It's an ebook, guys, how to stream like a pro. How to do 30 days of social media engagement. How to get a client a day with a Facebook group, the very thing we're talking about. 70, you wouldn't think there'd be that many, 70 places where you can get new clients. And on it goes, guys. It's all here. I spoke to Brian earlier about, I think it's somewhere I'm going to show him somewhere. Where is it? I don't see it. I thought I might be able to see it. There it is. Shut up and sell. There's the book there, guys. If you don't want to, if you're too lousy to buy it, there's the book, the PDF, Shut Up and Sell. We've also got Think and Grow Rich Up Above It. And there's a whole heap of stuff here, guys. It's cost me thousands of dollars, and I'm happy to share them with you. Now, I did promise you we'd talk about the real estate. So we'll go back up. I uh, went the wrong place, wrong button, Jeff. Let's go back to this one. Let's get, we're going to come back to the other one in a moment. Okay, guys, we're back here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the hidden. And believe me when I tell you this, most people, I would say, as much as 90% of people do not know about this. Right? You see this here, guys. This is your timeline. This is where you put all the stuff to attract people's attention, right? And I've got here, join for free. Click, and you can put contact us, some sort of a call to action. You click here, and look what happens, guys. We go here, and all of a sudden, you've got a message from us, and we're welcoming you, and we're giving you links, and we're telling you what to do, and we're selling. Got it? Most people are not doing that, guys. Check If you don't believe me, check it out tonight. 90% of the websites or the, probably the Facebook pages you go to, they'll be totally blank, totally blank, complete waste of space. Put something on here, make a nice timeline, join for free, and I'll show you some old ones, guys. They're not all they're not all done properly. I'm like the guy that drives a rusty Volkswagen. I fix Ferraris. I don't, I don't always do what I say I'll do. Here we go. I'm going to go over here. Once again, that storm's kicking in because I've clicked that button twice, and nothing has happened. And if nothing else is going to happen there, come on, guys. Okay, not going to happen? All right. We'll come off that subject, and... Because I wanted, I wanted to show you some old ones, guys, but it's not going to happen. I want to go up to here, guys, and show you something you may or may not know. Um, this is this is my page here, right? And even even here, guys, I won't do it. The same deal. You click here, goes over here, and tells you how to come into and join our group, right? So you click here, right? Most people don't do this, right? You come over to here. Um, every now and again, guys, I do Facebook Lives. And, and every time I do a Facebook Live, guys, I get three or four clients. So I'd recommend you doing Facebook Lives once or twice a week and be consistent. Do them at a certain time, right? Like every Wednesday, you know, John's Tips every Wednesday. Uh, how to make money from real estate from Glenda every Thursday. I don't do Mondays and Fridays normally. Mondays, people have got a shitload of problems. Fridays, they're worried about the weekend. Now, here's my LinkedIn. You think LinkedIn works, guys? There's last week. Right, that's my post from last week. 18,000 people reached, right? So it does work. Um, who wants to, you know, I do teaser stuff, guys. So I get engagement. Who wants a free video, how to get prospects on LinkedIn? Just say me. And then only went up a few hours ago, and I've had three there and four there. Seven people have made a comment. So those of those seven people, one or two of them may or may not become clients, all right? What have I got after this one? Um, we talked about the channels. Now, I'm going to show you. Jeff, does this stuff work, Jeff? Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you one last thing, and then this one. This one will amaze you. This one, 
guys, more than doubled my business. I'm about to show it to you if I can find it. We go to here and we come out of here, go over to here. Come on, Jeff. Get up to here. Oh, I, I just, I was on it and I just went past it. Oh, I'm crazy. Come <laughs> on, Jeff. Come on. Come on. Here we go. We're inside. We go into here now. We go into here. And I go into here. This is what's made us a lot of money, guys, in the last eight weeks. And I'm going to prove it to you in a minute. A lot of money. Now, here's how we re hit this. Your normal QR code, guys, which we're all familiar with because of COVID. Um, by the way, I've never used a QR code in my life. My phone's nowhere near me. I've got a solution to that. And I'm going to show it to you. It's, it's our secret source, right? I'll show it to you in a sec. Here we go. Look. But we're telling people what to do. Treat people like a five-year-old. Tell them what you want them to do, right? We want you to scan here, and you've got a pretty girl's face to get their attention. All of, all of these guys, I think you'd agree, are fairly attractive. I've got one down here that's non-threatening. This one here, let's have a virtual cup of coffee. It's a nice one, guys. It works. I'll show you a minute. It works its ass off, right? Um, we go back up to here. This one here, guys, I'll show you this one. This one here is one I use on link. I, I talk to people on LinkedIn. I send this over and I tell them what to do. Scan me, right? Then it goes to my calendar, right? There's the guy there. If you don't like him, don't scan it, right? Simple, right? Now, you're asking me, but Jeff, how do I know this works? Well, what you do, you reach out to me and you get a 14-day free trial, right? And you try it out for free. And it won't work unless you post it everywhere. You've got to post it everywhere you're doing something. You've got to post it, right? Okay, so we come over here and we go to the links, guys. Now, what you do, you pick the link and what you do, when you post up a story on Facebook or LinkedIn or anywhere else, Instagram, you put this here. You, you cut, you, oh, come on, the storm's bugging me up. We're not able to cut it, but there it is, guys. I'm trying to do it. You cut that, guys, and you place that in your post. You don't even need the QR code. You can just post that, right? That's the secret source that most people do not know about. All right, that's worth a lot of money. Uh, Jeff, how do I know it works? Okay, all right, all right, come with me. Come with me. Let's go on, a, let's go on an adventure together. We pop over to here to the Calendly spreadsheet. I'm hoping I'm in the right place. And my guy did tell me where to find it, but I'm pretty useless, so I'll see how I go. No, I'm not in the right place. Come on, Jeff, what are you doing? Go back. You're in the wrong place. Yeah, there it is. Go here. Come on, wakey, wakey. That's my calendar, by the way, guys. Now we go down to here and we go down to, I think we go down to folders, new folder. Uh, don't, I don't want to save the bloody thing. What are you on about? There we go. All right, guys. Uh, that's, that's, uh, here it is. Here's the one I want. Here's the one I want. Okay. My stars on Spotlight, my podcast, guys. You guys know about some of you have been on it, which is fantastic. 520 scans. Do you think it works, guys? It works, right? Get into here. Um, this is my main one, guys. Look at this in what are we on? 23rd of April, 23rd of May, 23rd of June. Let's say 23rd of July. Let's be silly. Less than 90 days, over a thousand scans, guys, right? And a lot of these people can turn into clients. There's my calendar one, guys. My, another one for, to, to join my group is that one there, right? And my, my old one, 50 minutes of fame. So, guys, does it work? Well, let's see if it works. We're going to go over here now to, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go to here. Does it work? Well, here, here's my here's my bookings, guys. Um, I average minimum four a day. Let's have a look at Tuesday. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, seven. Okay. The day before, the ninth. You know, you can see the numbers go without me telling you. Nine, 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 and eight, 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 eight. Get the idea, guys? Yeah, I'm filling up my calendar with potential clients, guys, by doing this. It's my secret source. Um, and guys, I'll just show you one last, one last thing. I hope I'm not boring you guys with all this. We come over to here. We're going over to LinkedIn. And I'm going to move. I'm going to move myself out of the way because I'm in the way and I can't. How do I move it? I don't, I have no idea how to move it. Here we go. I'm going to go to the home page, which is here. I'm going to go down to here. And I wish I could move this. Can I move it? No, I can't move it. 
maybe I minimise that. That's better. That's better. Here we go. All right. We go to here, guys. And we go down to here to analytics. And let's have a look. Let's have a look at analytics. The last seven days, guys, with, with, a, with a good VA. The secret is, guys, I don't do any of this. I have a VA do it, right? One or two hours a day, right? And people go, I don't need a VA. Yes, you do, right? Here we are. We're up 200, 250% in the last seven days. Okay, let's go, let's go down to here and let's go 28 days and let's go for engagement. These are people who want to engage with me and have a conversation. Let's have a look. In what have we got? Oh, I went back to pay seven days again. Come on, get out of there. Stay on, stay on 28 days, will you? <laughs> Do what you're told. There you go, guys. In the last one month, 1,079 people have reached out and we're up 271%. And then we go over here, guys. Look in here. Look. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. You know, on it goes. These, these are people reaching out. Yeah. So, guys, I'm going to stop talking because I could talk underwater. So, I'm going to come in and stop. I'm, I'm back. So, guys, I hope you found that informative and I hope it gave you, you know, a few ideas. If you need any more ideas, you know where to find me. Come and have a virtual cup of coffee. Costs you nothing. I'll provide the milk, the sugar, the cup, the the jug, but you've got to turn the power on. All right? Jeff, okay. that was outstanding. Thanks very much, Brian. Coming from you, I appreciate it, buddy. Man, I wrote a page of notes, and I feel like I earned money by just watching your presentation. Um, I submitted to join your group, and awesome. I do want to schedule that. Uh, I just did it while you were talking, but that was amazing. I did want to ask one question, though. Please do. Because um, your content was amazing, but even the stuff you said in between screens was helpful. The stuff uh -huh. that you just threw out there. But you said, and I don't even do all of this stuff. I have a VA do it for me. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're having a VA do for you that gets so many people reaching out to you? We have what's in the trades of buzzwords called SOP, S-O-P. That means standard operating procedure. So I give you a girl next week, but you have to tell us what you want us to do. We'll tell you what to do, but you could, But I don't run your business for you. You'd say, oh, Jeff, I want you to push my book for me, or I want you to do this, or I want you to do that. And I want you to get me more people on LinkedIn. And then we'll, we'll give you a strategy, we'll strategize it for you, and we'll make that happen. We'll start to make people reach out to you, but I can't close the sale for you, not unless you're well, paying I a big money. I can do that. I That's can good. close. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good part. So basically, guys, it, I go back old school. I go back to what I call common sense marketing. And it ain't, most people ain't got common sense, you know. You know, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> and a passion like you, Brian, I've got a passion for what I do. Not about the money. The money, the money's a byproduct. You know, I, um, I, I do, I do, I had a funny one recently. I've been mucking around. I've been telling Australians, for example, they go, oh, a thousand dollars. I don't know, Jeff, a thousand dollars. You know, that's one of my programs, right? And I go, listen, Mary, what I'm going to do for you, because you're Australian like me, you're a fellow Australian. I'm going to, rather than pay me US dollars, I'm going to give it to you in Australian dollars because I know you're going to do it right now. So I'm going to do it in Australian dollars and you're going to save 34%. How does that sound? You know, deal's done, you know, because everybody wants to save and they do save 34%, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and yeah, but my VAs, um, we, we, and I tell people, when you get a VA, whether it's my VA or anyone else's VA, don't hire any VA for eight hours a day. Simple reason is this, you, me, anyone in this room, no one here is effective eight hours a day. We think we are, but we're not. We just spin right. our wheels, right? But you might be effective three hours a day, four hours a day, depending on who you are, right? Me, myself, I put myself down between three and four a day, right? However, you hire a VA for one or two hours a day, and she's digging a five-foot hole. Monday, it's five foot. Tuesday, it's 10 foot. Wednesday, it's 15 foot. By the end of the week, it's a 25-foot bloody hole, right? Then we go on to next week, and you say, hey, Jeff, I want to make the hole wider, you know, whatever. We're in, we're in your hands. And I tell people, not only do you get my VA, you get me twice a month, the, the business guru, and I go over and, and help you look look for, you know, ideas how we can, you know, turn, turn things on their head. I should have been using Jeff's services years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it 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 works. I've made a, I've made a lot of money. I've made and lost a lot of money. Lost most of it with COVID. That's another story. But um, 
Yeah, it's it's about it's about systems, guys. At the end of the day, it's about systems and about being consistent. And I'm not consistent, so I, I have people that are they're getting paid to be consistent. Mm -hmm. I pay them do this for me, and I want this done. And we've got and we've got once again I come back to SOPs. You know, we got something here right 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 in front of me. You know, you can't read all that, but you know, we we got a system. You know, all documented, right? And and they follow the system, and, and we and we tweak it every now and again. We say, "Hey, make number three number one, or make no, get rid of number three. It's, it's not working." Right. The other thing I do on LinkedIn is a very good trick. People, a lot of people don't do it. There's a there's a category there on LinkedIn under I think it's under Home or somewhere. It shows you people's birthdays, their anniversaries, their work anniversary, or they've changed jobs. We and it's about thirty or forty per day at, at least. My VA one hour a day reaches out to all those people and says, hi, Brian, congratulations on your book. I've started the conversation. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. So I'd like to know more about it, Brian. Can we jump on a call? And on that call, we resonate. Either you'll sell me your stuff or I'll buy your stuff, whatever. Or we'll, as John does it on a slower version, we'll strike up a conversation and we might make a sale two or three calls down the road. And I'll tell you one quick one about me, guys, that I do. I'm, I'm old school. I'm, I'm a bit sort of kick the door in type guy still because I come from the old school. But um, some people say, oh, there's 27 touch points before someone becomes your client. And I say, that's bullshit. <laughs> I say, total bullshit, right? right? I say, if someone's seen your stuff and they like what you do, I call mine the coffee close. I'm going to explain it to you. The first one is we have a virtual cup of coffee. We have a chat. And if I'm lucky, you buy something then and there. If you don't, we have a virtual movie. Then we go for a virtual picnic. Then I take you to a virtual five-star restaurant. And then I take you to bed or I marry you. Because if I can't hold your hand or give you a kiss within five dates, we're not going anywhere. There's no relationship here. So uh, it's all over. You know? Love it. Love that. But, but. <laughs> We'll still continue to follow them up because some people are slow burn. They might take six months. And I'm, I'm not discounting those people. They're nice people. They just, they're just what I call semi lose. They can't make a decision in life. They, they can't work out what underpants to wear today. You know what color? You know, you know. I just grab the ones that are on the top. Right? <laughs> you know. You know. Same as my shirts, guys. You'll laugh. I got over a hundred shirts, and I just the other day I said, "Hey Jeff, don't start worrying. Just pick one on the end." So I pick the end one, I work my way through, right? You know, so that's it, guys. That's that's pretty a wrap. How are we going time-wise? Not too bad. Um, we've done we've done pretty good. So, guys, any questions? I'm here to answer them. So get the guru while you can. I, I, I tell people you can you can hire a hire a digital marketing army for the price of a soldier, and you get the general for free. I love it. Uh, how did you make your QR codes? I've got a pro. I've got we've we've got a program we buy, Glenn. It's very good. You can you can make dummy people go. Oh, I can make mine on Canva. I say and I go, F off. Go ahead and make it on Canva. See you later. Good luck. But we we make them uh, with a special QR code. You give us you give us some of your details, a few words like like if, and we give you samples, right? And then we give you we give you one for fourteen days, totally free. Love it or shove it, no obligation of any kind. And then after that, it's a dollar a day, and it brings you. As you saw the results of it, right? But it's a dollar a day or one hundred ninety five dollars for a full year, whichever you prefer. And some people, you know, they go, oh yeah, that wouldn't work for me. Well, okay, it works for me. You know, in fact, we we're going quite frankly, guys. We're going too good. I mean, there's only one of me, and I'm 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 taking calls at five in the morning because of the states and, and Canada, etc. And I'm I'm still up at ten o'clock at night. You know, so it's it's going a bit too good. But I have power naps in between. But it's it's fun, and I and I know, and as you guys do, you're all professionals. I know who's going to be potential sale before they even get on the call. But the other ones, I I just practice on them or. You know, whatever. You know, like a mouse, like a like a you know, like a cat with a mouse. So you just sort of moving around the room, you know, for a bit of fun. You know, and and you never know who they might know. So that's that's the whole point. What else well, do you want to ask? I don't use your Facebook at all, and I got to um, put a, put myself into it and, and start really looking through your. Cost stuff. you nothing to go in there. So put yourself in hey, there once a week. Hey, it, it's me, Glenda. 
It's me, Glenda, the real estate authority, right? You're an authority, Glenda. I told you before, you're not a bloody coach, you're a mentor, right? Don't be a bloody lousy coach, be a mentor, right? Yep. Same as you, John Allen, you're a specialist, not a coach. You know, look at your knowledge. You know, you've, you've, you've forgotten most of the people in the room know, you know. So, you know, get get out there, guys. Make make things happen. You know, they say, I tell people all the time, and I've realized that as I got older, no one's coming to save you. No one. <laughs> if, it's, no. if it's meant to be, it's up to me. And it's about the three Fs, guys, not the ones you're thinking of. It's about family, friends, freedom, you know. And I've got that freedom, you know, and I love it. Another one I tell people recently, I got a good response. I said to people, um, think like a bank. Banks don't work seven days a week, so why do you? Don't be don't be available seven days a week. Be available five days a week. If if, if I can't if, if people can't talk to you five days a week, there's something wrong with them, not with you. Right? Absolutely. Make make the weekends your quality time where you you know you might you might still do some work. That's your good or bad luck. You might still do some work behind the scenes. I do that quite often. Right. However, um, I'm not available for clients. Now, having said that, there's one disclaimer there. What I do, I open up three spots on Saturday morning and Sunday morning because I know I'm a slow mover on, on the weekend. So what I do, I have my breakfast and I've got three spots there. So if someone does book a spot, I'm having my breakfast and I'll, I'll talk to them and I'll make some money because I'm, I'm I'm in front of my computer anyway. You know what I mean? But that, that's my only disclaimer there. And I'm, even, even that... Um, I didn't get one or two. It was not too bad, you know. So that's it, guys. I need, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the chat now. Let's see what's in the chat. I, did, I haven't had a chance to have a look, but I'm going to go and save it so I can contact you guys. There you go. So uh, just... You are one busy guy, and you're absolutely right. Nobody cares about what you're uh, what you're doing. So if you, if you don't do it and take, take the reins and make it work, it's not going to happen for you. That's right. That's right. No one's coming to save you. And, and yeah. I tell people too, I mean, I, I chased the money, um, Pat, for uh, ooh, 40 years. I chased money hard. I mean, I made 5000 a week for r roughly 40 years. No no bullshit. However, after COVID, I thought, hey, how, how much do I need? You know, so now um, I want to be Mr. Big Enough. I want to just make more than what I, I just want to make more than what I spend. Yeah. Simple as that. If my if my if I overhead to two two grand a month, you know, I'm I'm happy to make three or four grand. You know, so I don't I don't I can I can do a lot more if I want to, but I choose not to. I just choose to you know pick and choose who I work with. I get clients, I get crazy clients, right, who pay me the money, and I've got to chase them for two weeks to get the stuff from. Them. I say I need your Facebook page, I need your LinkedIn, I need to be able to do stuff for you. And they go, oh yeah, I'll get back to you, Jeff. And I'm thinking, well, okay, you paid the bill, so. You know, but I get but I get frustrated. I go I go to bed, you know, saying I feel bad. I've taken the money and I can't do the work. I'll give you a quick one, guys. This is a funny one. I had a guy recently just join. Um, he's got a Mexican restaurant. The first thing I said to him was, "Oh yeah, okay, good. You want to use my services? What sort of drinks have you got?" He said, oh, "I've got Coke. I've got uh, water. I've got Sprite or lemonade." Right? Okay, right. And what desserts have you got? He said, "I've got none." I said, "My friend." I'm going to increase your business by 30% overnight because as of tomorrow, you're going to have Mexican milkshakes. You're going to have a Mexican hot chocolate, a Mexican coffee. How simple is it? He's got a kitchen. There. It's not hard, right? So there, there's his drinks already. And now we're going to have four Mexican desserts. I said, how many sombreros you got? Oh, none. I said, tomorrow you're going to go and buy six sombreros. You're going to put them on people's head. You're going to take their bloody picture. You're going to send them the picture to their, to their, to their Facebook page. You've got all their details. And what are people going to do with that picture? We've, we've made him a, a branded picture frame that says, welcome to Jeff's restaurant, right? So when that picture frame goes out, everyone knows where the picture was and they want to go and try the food out themselves. Yeah. Easy stuff, guy. Easy peasy, you know. And then, then they'll, they'll come back and say, oh, but I could have done that. Well, you could have, yeah, but you didn't. That's why you paid me. Great oh, present. All right, guys, I can go all night if you want to keep going. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Great information. Thanks, Jeff. Anybody else uh, got anything? You're most welcome, guys. Most welcome. You're like family, right. I told you. Jeff, great presentation. Thank you so much for giving so much information to us. No, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the opportunity, guys, because 
makes me uh, sharpen sharpen my game and and go through what I what I know. And th- and those things I know, guys, that's pretty much my whole pretty much my whole system in a nutshell. LinkedIn, Facebook, and do the work. You know, reach out to people, have have conversations, start relationships. Relationships equal money. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty straight. I was going to say, could you show your chart again? But uh, just so people could see that your initial chart again. Yeah, I can show you that if you want, very quickly. Uh, just yeah. a, a quick recap, because that's a, a very valid point for a lot of people. Oh, it is, for, especially for consultants. It's awesome. Right? We go here. Go here, guys. Here it is here. Uh, do I pause it? Did I resume? Okay, come on. Uh, there it is there. And remember, guys, this is a very slick and very quick presentation. I just run 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 it through. But normally you do it you do it slowly, you know, but you, you got you match the pace of your client. And we start off as and you can and we can make these for you guys. We make these for $195. We make them and brand them for you, and you can tell us what you want, or we give you one of ours. So you go start off here, you say, let the fun begin, because it's supposed to be fun. You tell the client to draw that square. I'll go a bit slower, and then you tell the client, come in one inch from the left, and then draw five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Come at one inch from the bottom and draw five lines, and then you say to them, this is how your box should look. Then you, then you, and you get them to put the letters in, as you know, and you, you, we, we know what they stand for, guys, so I'll flip over that very quickly, and I'll do a couple of quick clicks. Come on, come on. I've got, to, I've got to click it five times for them to come up. Here we go. And then draw a circle where you believe you're at. And most of us guys, I, I, guys, I'm a 10 or a 12. You know why? I'm the guy I tell people all the time. I admit to it. I'm the guy that drives a rusty old Volkswagen, but I come out and fix up your Ferrari or Lamborghini. That's my job. You know, don't judge me like the doctor. Don't judge him on what he wears. Judge him on, on what he can do for you to save your life. Right? So there, and there it all is there. And most people, guys, are in the 10 to 12 range. That's all of us, right? We can all improve. And then I didn't show you the last one, by the way. That's, and that's my last one. So people can actually join. You have some of this. People can join your group or, or, or go to your calendar, right? And they, and they have the different services we offer. So Excellent. that's a wrap. Muchly appreciated, sir. And Thank you, Jeff. Very, very good. Sir. Most welcome, guys. There's a, a ton of information here for those watching. Nice. Be sure to reach out to Jeff. Obviously, if you've been listening, he's got a ton of great information to share with everybody. And with that, we'll sign off for this week and look forward to talking to you all next week. Thank great you, to sir. see you guys, and we'll see you all later. Jeff, thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank Please you, Jeff. Jeff. Very Appreciate much. your comments. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. My my internet keeps going out. <laughs> and Glenda, yeah. you should be Glenda. The people need you. You've been there and done it. You're at the right age now. You've been there and done it. You should be killing it because your 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 group is women in general. The odd men might come in there, but in general, yeah. you're women, and they'll listen to you. And you're, and you're very plausible. They'll listen to you. You got to you got to get yourself into those Facebook groups, and you got to be the authority. Yes, you've sir. Be, you've got to be that authority. And, and if you're not picking up a client a week with something wrong, Glenda, you're doing something dramatically wrong. It's a numbers game, guys. When I say one a week, it's like this chicken or feathers. This week, you, you get none. Don't beat yourself up. Next week, you get two. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm target orientated. My target minimum, by the way, for me, guys, is four a month. That's my target. So I start off and go, okay, let's get one. Then I can relax then. If I don't get one, I'm like a bear with a sore head, you know. <laughs> And I go after, I get my two, right? Sometimes I get three in one day. And I go, wow, how cool is this? I love this job. <laughs> Next day you go, oh, I hate this job. <laughs> you know, you know how, you, you're all in sales. You know how it goes, guys. It's chicken or feathers. But uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the TV personally said that he, he's going to learn this from him, right? Trust the process. If you've got a good process, a, a good system like you have, Pat, um, trust the process. It just it, it 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 works out, yeah. Just know that it works. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You got you got you got you got to you got to have rain to see the rainbow, guys. Sounds good.
I think I, I saved it, it uh, unless there's something going on. Like I said, my internet's been going out because of the yeah. storm. Yeah. But, You're uh, getting that uh, remnants of that hurricane, aren't you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It came really through cool. Texas. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice of them to be uh, showing with us. Yeah, aren't they nice? All right, I got to run. See you guys. Okay. All right, thanks, guys.